hello friends this is going to be a simple tutorial video on checkboxes and here in this video I will use four checkbox and I will show you how to select one among four of the checkboxes and display the selected checkbox or toast the selected checkbox on button click so let's start here I will use an already created project Here in app projects, I have a project which I created earlier called text view. And inside this, let's navigate to main.xml. Here in main.xml, when you click on this image, you will see that it contains a linear layout and a button. So what we need is we need to remove this button then inside this linear layout add inside and then click on widget and then add a checkbox. Now we need four checkboxes here. So again click on the linear layout click on add inside and add another checkbox like this similarly add four checkboxes. And after adding four checkboxes, add a button inside this. Now for each of these checkboxes, give some ID. Like here I am giving CBOX1. And also write some text for it. Like option 1. For second checkbox, C box 2 and text for it, option 2. This is the third checkbox, C box 3, and this will act as our option 3. This is the fourth checkbox. C box four, and this will act as option four. Give some ID for the button also, like BTN one. Okay, after this, go back and you will find that all this code has been added where you have four checkbox and a button. Now move to the logic area means main activity dot Java. For this, click on view, then files, and then navigate to Java, and inside this, you will find main activity dot Java. In this main activity dot Java, you will find that you will find the package name, and after this, all these imports. If it is not there, you can add this app, OS, widget, view, and view dot view. And after this, there is this line public class main activity extends activity, and inside that we have protected void on create bundle saved instance state and then super.onCreate saved instance state and below that set content view r.layout.main here this main is main.xml now below this write an on click listener for all the widgets which you added so before that we have to declare all the widgets which we added so for declaring that right here private checkbox for declaring the checkboxes 
checkbox and then give it some name like C box one. Then we added more checkboxes. So add all these here C box two, comma C box three, comma C box four, and then put a semicolon. So here now we have added all the four checkboxes. And after this, write the button name here, write private button and then name of the button like btn1 and a semicolon after this. Now inside on create after set content view here declare the or set the view of all these. So for this write cbox1 equal to then write the type in brackets its type is checkbox and after this write find view by id and in bracket write r dot id dot cbox1 now close this bracket put a semicolon now we have to do this for all the four checkboxes so copy this line of code then click on next line and paste it here now go to next line paste it again here and change these to checkbox 2 in C box 2 and then this will be C box 2 the next one will be C box 3 and next one C box 4 the last one will be for buttons so here write btn1 and replace this type checkbox with button and here find view by id r dot id dot btn1 now after declaring all these we have to set on click listener for each of these so here write for checkbox one when checkbox one is clicked we have to set the all other checkboxes as unchecked so here we have to write cbox1 dot set on click listener and inside this bracket write new and view with v capital view dot on click listener put these brackets and then open a curly bracket and inside this write at override and below that public void on click and in bracket write view with v capital and then write a small v close this bracket and put a curly bracket now close this first bracket which we placed here after this and then put a semicolon after this so this is the code for c box on click means checkbox one click now when checkbox one is clicked we have to uncheck checkbox 2 3 and 4 so here we have to write cbox2 dot set checked and in bracket write false 
close this bracket put a semicolon now similarly write the same code for checkbox 3 4 C box 3 set checked false and C box 4 check, set checked false. So this means when checkbox 1 is clicked, checkbox 2, checkbox 3 and checkbox 4 will be unchecked. Now similarly we will add the same code for checkbox 2 click and checkbox 3 and checkbox 4 click. So copy this code and then go to next line and paste it here. And in this code, change C box 1 to C box 2 and change C box 2 to C box 1. Now again go to next line and then paste this code again. Here change C box 1 to C box 3 and change C box 3 to C box 1. Then again go to next line and paste the code again here also change c box 1 to c box 4 and c box 4 to c box 1 now after setting on click listener for all the four check boxes we have to set an on click listener for the button so for this we go to next line and paste the same code because setting an on click listener means same code only change the id here instead of cbox1 write btn1 which is id of button and inside this when button1 is clicked instead of setting all the checkboxes to set checked false we will write if else operator and here we will write if if checkbox 1 is ch checked so add these brackets and inside this write if checkbox means c box 1 is checked C box one dot is checked if C box one is checked then we will toast or show this message that option one is selected. So here we will add the code for toast toast dot make text and in bracket get application context comma the text which is to be shown which is option 1 is selected now after this one more comma and then write toast dot length short then close this after closing the bracket write dot show and after this put a semicolon so this will toast a message that option one is selected here we will write length long instead of length short Uh, we will copy this same code for other checkboxes and go to next line and paste the code. If C box 2 is selected, then show message or toast option 2 is selected. Then go to next line and paste the same code. Here if C box 3 is checked, 
शो मैसेज ऑप्शन थ्री इज चेक ऑप्शन थ्री इज सेलेक्टेड नाउ गो टू नेक्स्ट लाइन एंड पेस्ट द सेम कोड एंड राइट हेयर इफ सी बॉक्स फोर इज चेकड देन टोस्ट मैसेज दैट ऑप्शन फोर इज सेलेक्टेड दैट्स ऑल Now let's check this project. So here we have four options. When we click on any option and then click on the second option, the first option gets unselected. So here only one is selectable. and after selecting this when we click on the button it shows the option which is selected like here it shows option 3 selected now if we select option 1 it shows option 1 is selected so i hope this was useful for you thank you very much for watching this video